So I'm doing commentary for Mike and Jacob's battle. So the CN Wood City Machamps versus the uh, Acritic City Stantlers because somebody didn't do commentary for their own battle. But that's beside the point. I'm also soft resetting while I shiny hunt for a uh, uh, whatever that thing is, Regigigas. So uh, leads with that Clefable from Mike's side, and then a Tornadus from Jacob. So a pretty good lead for Jacob, but he decides to U-turn out anyways, because I guess, uh, no, yeah, good special defense on the Clefable, I guess he doesn't really want to keep the special attacker out there. And brings in the Waifu, Tapu of the Waifu variety, except that that Psychic Surge that just really makes that thing super powerful because it gets stabbed off of its Psychic moves. And then a Yo Mama takes a big ol' Psychic, which does a whole shitload of damage. Wow. Guess your special defense isn't that good. With your green little ear tips. The Fable. And Yo Mama leaves because it doesn't feel like dying. And Umbreon comes in to take a Moonblast for some reason. Uh, survives it, kind of. Barely, I mean, is over half health, so uh, don't really want to stay in, but he stays in anyways, which this is probably going to KO, and uh, yeah, it does, and Umbreon's dead. Not entirely sure what Mike thought was happening, but so a Psychic, a Moonblast, a Moonblast, Angry Squirrel comes in, which this thing, I actually kind of told Mike to do it, that Psychic Seed boosted special defense. Even in a psychic terrain, that boosts it enough, so he survives! And a poison jab. But uh, apparently this week, Jacob said that he went with a bold nature. Which helps him survive that hit. Which is unfortunate. And then Mike goes for the spiky shield, even though it's it's just protect at this point, essentially. Because, yeah, Tepalil is not a physical attacker. So it has been switching back and forth between psychics and moonblasts. Which leads to this controversial decision to bring in Pink Lemonade like a big fucking dummy. Yeah, Mike, I'm calling you out, big fucking dummy. Later, Mike would tell us that, uh, oh yeah, I thought he was just locked into Moonblast. Uh-huh. No, you're wrong. You weren't paying attention. So you brought in a Pokemon's weak to Psychic to a Psychic move, like big dumb dummy. Then Butthole, the Starfish, comes in. It's not the Chalk Starfish, it's a Blue Starfish, but whatever. And Biggie Smalls comes in, or Biggie Small. His Biggie Smalls might have been a bit too long. And a Scald comes out, which he'll take very well because he's a pretty good special wall, but no burn goes out, which is unfortunate for the uh, Machamps, because that would have been nice on a big chubby boy. And then a Psychic, which also isn't going to do a whole hell of a lot, because <laughs> he's a special, especially defensive. And that big old Crunch is going to do a big old chunk of damage with a critical hit. Some more leftovers, so that's a popular item for Mike's team right now. And Biggie Small is still looking very healthy in the green. Another Psychic comes out. I don't know why he didn't just keep going for the Scald, hoping to get a burn, but, mm, you know, what? whatever. Sometimes we make bad life choices, and the Body Slam takes out Butthole. So yeah, there you go. Mike's got a couple down, because he hasn't really been paying too much attention. So uh, Biggie Small is just about at half health again. Here comes Cuddles. Big old cuddle monster. Big pink sausage looking bear monster. And Ooh Gross comes in. And some snacky pebbles and he takes a stupor power. Which that does a good chunk of damage, but uh weakens the cuddles. And takes some rough skin damage. And some rocky helmet damage. So uh loading it up on that. There we go with the Endure coming out from Garchomp to take the Ice Punch, so very much predicted. Which I don't think he would have survived if he had switched into that four, but he does get frozen, which is most unfortunate. But there is that Rough Skin and Rocky Helmet damage again, so I think about half of his health has been lost simply due to recoil from attacking that thing, so now La Jin comes in, takes a whole lot of Stealth Rocks damage. And 
I don't know what the point of the earthquake was. I don't know what you were thinking. But you take an earth or a hurricane and you die. Why didn't you just keep ice punching? Whatever. Whatever. I don't know who you were trying to earthquake. Life orb damage. And your mama comes back out nice and weak with her 31 HP. But, uh, heat wave does come out and that's probably going to be enough to pick up the KO. Yes, indeed it is. So for the high accuracy over high damage, I guess. Makes sense. Some more life orb damage. And the angry squirrel comes back out. 21 HP and uh, I think Mike just stalls it out here with spiky shield for like three turns. <sighs> Mike. What were you thinking? What were you thinking? You weren't thinking. That's what you were thinking. So this is a... Two spiky shields in a row. Okay. Good for you. He blocked another inevitable death. This is a, a theme that Mike likes to do. Where he just lets his Pokemon... Stall time at the end. For some reason. But uh, yeah, there we go. Angry Squirrel's dead and that means Mike gets shut out. 6-0. That wasn't quite as eventful as we had hoped for. I gave you that Crobat, Mike. I wanted you to use it smartly, but you didn't, and this makes me sad. So yeah, that was the battle. They go on to face other people uh, next week, and we'll see how those go, I don't know, next week. Ah, doses.